Bob Duffy from Intel here, and once again, I'm in Blender, and not just any Blender, I'm in Blender 3.3 LTS. And the reason is, is to show you guys this right here. Under Preferences, there's a new tab called One API. And One API is a new open standard framework that's allowing my Intel Arc A770 GPU to be available for cycles rendering. Woohoo! <laughs> We're rendering in cycles on Intel Arc. Now, One API also makes available Intel Data Center Flex Series GPUs for cycles rendering. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about One API. One API is an open standard, and, and it's an extension of Sickle, the same Sickle from the Kronos Group. One API is supported by code from Intel and the community, and it supports heterogeneous computing. This is computing that allows for one code base to take advantage of multiple processor types. CPUs, GPUs, FPGAs, and AI accelerators. And now it's part of Blender, available for Intel processors, GPUs for rendering in cycles. And it's an open standard, so hey, anybody can get on the One API train. Let's talk about rendering here. Here is a scene. I want to walk you guys through it a little bit so you can know what's happening on my Arc A770 GPU. This is not a modest scene. It's a scene with 8.7 million triangles because it's not just a family room, it's an entire house. There's a lot going on here, a lot of geometry, a lot for the path tracing to do. And we're doing it all in the real-time rendering viewport here with open image denoise turned on. As well, the scene is largely lit from indirect light. You can see we have these uh, glass sliders here, there's a, uh, there's a light outside mimicking the sun, and that's what's largely lighting up this room, especially for areas like the back of this couch. It's going to be hit with secondary, tertiary, fourth area, I guess, I don't know what that is, rays uh, to light it up. So all happening and ARC uh, is up to the task uh, to do that. But let's uh, go in on something here like uh, this silver plated picture here just to show you that yes we're in the real-time viewport we're doing path tracing you can see items reflected directly in that picture there and then also if i back out here from this bar we'll get over to these glass objects these more transmissive objects here and you can see light is refracting in those and for me i don't know it's beautiful to see in the real-time viewport here we're actually seeing path tracing and retracing happening refraction happening uh and it's, it's awesome um, I also have, I have denoising turned on, and not everybody likes denoising, but I think it's a little bit of what you're doing in your scene. This is pretty much indirect lit, so if I turned off image, uh, the denoising, I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong one. <laughs> Let's turn off this denoising. Um, you're going to see the static in the fireflies, and so in something that's indirectly lit, especially if you're moving around, that can be quite noisy. But we turn on denoise, which is the Intel open image denoise, by the way, and it's beautiful. I can see it. I can move around the scene and everything is awesome. Uh, that's the magic of AI happening. It's turning all that noisy information into something that you can see using AI inferencing. So there you go. Um, Arc is doing uh, the rendering. We've got open image denoise turn on, cleaning up the scene, and, and it's quite nice. But you guys are probably curious about, okay, what about a render? So let's kick off a render. And when I kick this off, uh, I'm going to fast forward this part right here uh, so you don't have to see it all happen. Um, we'll catch up here at the end after it's all done. Okay, there we go. Two minutes and seven seconds. I think that's pretty good. You know, I have to tell you, um, we've been working on this a while and just a few weeks back. I mean, uh, I was like at three minutes and then we had driver updates and uh, got down to two and a half minutes. And now with Blender uh, 3.3 LTS, um, yeah, I, you know, I, I'm like a 30% improvement here. Uh, and, and the scene looks pretty good here. We've got our reflective objects here, our transmissive glass here. This is all looking really good to me. Um, I, I'm pleased with the results as I'm pretty familiar with this scene and what it takes to render it. So looking good for one API. But 
Also, I can tell you this is just the start, folks. We will be adding Embry for GPU rendering. Embry is an award-winning set of kernels and libraries for hardware-accelerated ray tracing from Intel that's been on the CPU side. It will be coming to GPU, so we can expect performance improvements beyond what we're seeing already. But uh, I want to show you guys a simpler scene, not as tasking, so you can see arc rendering without the fast forward. Okay, here we are in a new scene, and this is a much simpler scene. As you can see, as I'm moving around here, I, I still have denoising turned on. There you go, it kicks in. It's got an environmental map. I think it's mostly a single light source uh, coming in. So the environmental map in that light source in simple geometry. If I think if I uh, turn on this information here, do, there we go, yeah. 140,000 triangles, so much smaller in comparison. Um, but, but as you can see, it, it's easy to move around this scene. Um, it, you know, th things look really good. Uh, and let's go ahead and kick off a render on this one and see what happens there. All right, we're getting the scene, 11 samples, getting up to 30 and okay, six seconds, pretty good. Yeah, um, I've done this. Uh, I think the first time I did it was four seconds. Now it was 6.8 seconds. Uh, rendering times will vary. But you can see that um, a simple scene like this, um, it, it can get rendered fairly quickly. Here we go. We just did it again, and it's 4.53 uh, seconds. If I up, up the sample count, if I add something more complex like uh, particles, physics, things like that, it's, it's going to obviously take a little bit more to render it. Uh, so the last scene two minutes this one about five seconds so uh you know it really is scene dependent uh, and that's what i want to get across to you guys and we can't leave out ev too so um ev works just as well this is not one api but you know i am using an rgpu so this is my gpu rgpu being put to work um and yeah, I've got geometry nodes going on here. Uh, all of that working in real time in the viewport, uh, doing things like portals because we love portals on the Arc team here. So um, just wanted to show you guys that um, all the features you'd expect to work with in Blender from you know complex uh, path tracing, more studio lit kind of ray tracing scenes to Eevee, um, Arc is up to the task and do it all. So. That's my update, folks. Um, please join our Discord. Go to discord.gg forward slash Intel. You can find me. I'm Bob Duffy there. I'm the guy with the crown on the server. Um, you can go to our creator area or our gallery, and uh, I'd love to see your digital art. No matter how you've done it, what you've did it on, done it on, please share. Uh, we're, we're trying to build a, a, a bigger, better community uh, with our gaming and graphics folks, folks. So please hang out and join us there. Anyways, that's my update. <laughs> We've got one API available for 3.3. We are doing cycles ray tracing on Intel Art Graphics, and it's just awesome. Catch you later.